Hello friends. In this video, we are going to learn a very interesting concept in the field of statistics and probability. If you aspire to be in the field of data science, you should definitely watch this video. So in this video, I will explain you the concept of proportional sampling. So imagine you have a list and all the entries in the list, they are given a specific weight. And our task is to choose a value from the list where the probability of choosing a value is directly proportional to its weight. So how can we achieve this? So let us first try to understand the problem again. So out here I have a variable called dice. These are the six sides of a die. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. And every side is given a specific weight. So this is a biased die. It's not, it's not unbiased. So the probability of choosing a value is not uniform. It depends on its weight value. So out here, the weight value of the side 1 is 20, the weight value of side 2 is 12, of side 3 is 60, of side 4 58, of side 5 33, of side 6 10. So as you can observe that the probability, the weight value of the side 6 is the lowest that is 10. So the probability of choosing side or uh, rolling a die and getting 6 should be the lowest and the probability of rolling the die and getting 3 should be the highest because we have a weight value of 60 assigned to 3. So how can we achieve this in Python? And I will try to explain this from scratch. And we will not be using any library so that we get an intuitive feeling of this problem. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to calculate or we need to compute the cumulative normalized sum. So how do we compute the cumulative normalized sum? So the very first step is to normalize the weight values. That is, we will convert all these weight values between 0 and 1. First, we will calculate the total sum of the weights. So, and we can achieve this using the inbuilt Python function called sum. We have the weights array here. And we just use sum weights. And we get the total sum of the weights array. Now, in order to compute the normalized weights, what we will do is take each entry in this weight array and divide it by the total sum. So I'm using list comprehension to do this. So I have for weight and weights, I take that weight value and I divide it by total sum. And I, I will just print the values out here. Now, you, as you see, I, all the values are in the range of 0 and 1. And if we sum up, if we sum up all these values, we get 1. This is what we, we were expecting. Now, in order to compute the cumulative normalized sum, what we will do is for every entry, so, uh, we will be accumulating the values. So for instance, the very first value will remain the same. So the cumulative normalized sum of the 0th entry will be this, this value. For the first entry, it will be the previous value plus this. For the next entry, it will be the sum of first, second and third values and so on. And the very last entry, it will be the sum of all the values, which should be actually equal to 1. So let us see how we can achieve this. So I'm using a for loop and I will do for i in range 1 to length of normalized weights. And I have a list called cum, cum underscore sum and I keep appending the values. So what do I need to append? I need to append the previous cum sum value that is cum underscore sum i minus 1 plus the current normalized weight value which is indicated by the index i. And if we print these values you will see that the last value is 1 and the first value is the, sa is the same as the first value of normalized weights. Now the next, next task to sample the value is to first choose a random value and we will use the uniform library, the uniform function from the random package in Python. And if, if, our, if our random value is less than, for instance, this value, then we return 1. If it is less than this value, then we return 2. If it is less than this value, then we return 3. If it is less than this value, then we return 4. If it is less than this value, then we return 5. And if it is less than 1, then we return 6. So I have, I'm going to wrap all these functionalities in a function called proportional sampling. This function will take the dice values and the weights values. And we will do the same steps again. We will compute the total sum, the normalized weights, the cumulative normalized sum. Then we choose a random value. 
and based on this random value i will compare the random value with all the values in the cumulative normalized sum array and if that value if the random value is less than any of these values he will be returning the dice value at that specific index so if we are out here he will be returning the index 1 0 1 2 3 third index but which is nothing but the fourth value because in python the array starts at index 0 this is what i have done now let us run this function and see what we get so i'm going to just execute this cell and i will print the value of sample value in this case we get a sample value of 4 now i am going to run this function total of 10000 times so i will be experimenting this with different values so in this case i have decided to choose a value of 10000 and the more number of iterations the better results you will get so I, I will call this function proportional sampling every time I execute this loop and I will store the result in a dictionary called dice result. Now I will plot the values. So on the x axis I have the dice values. So I have all the six sides 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and on the y axis I have the number of times this value was chosen. So as you can see since 6 was given the lowest weight probability of choosing 6 is the lowest amongst all other values and since the value 3 was given the highest weight the probability of choosing 3 was the is the highest out here i hope you liked this video and you learned about proportional sampling and appreciate the value of statistics and probability in your career